Today I'm testing the Bevency V45 LED headlight. A light so bright, I think it should have its own warning sticker. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Oh, you'll see. Hello everybody and welcome to Car Light Reviews. If you've never been here before, I perform consistent automotive lighting tests so you can make the best purchase decision. This light here, the Bevency V45 series, was suggested by a couple of my viewers who noticed some pretty impressive published specifications on the Amazon page, so I thought I'd check it out and see if it's as bright as they claim. We're going to find out together. I'm going to do that by doing a quick unboxing, then cover the published specifications, and then test using a projector and a reflector light housing. Let's get started. Basic instruction manual, but like all lights that I test, they are plug and play. Quick service card, that's nice to know if you need service, plus 10% uh, off your next order if you join their Facebook page. Here's the published specifications. 60 watts each, 11,000 lumens each, 6,000 K color temperature, has a CSP3570 chip, an IP68 rating, and a very impressive 100,000 hour usage rating. Most lights I test are 50,000. Also impressive, it has a three year warranty. Most are one year, sometimes two years, but three is very uncommon. Here's my initial observations. As you can see, it's got a pretty nice black chrome finish. I once read that a finish like this might contribute to light output scattering. That makes sense, but I've yet to really notice it myself. For example, it may reflect off this ridge right here. Now it feels rather heavy, a bit heavier than similar sized lights, but not too much. It does have an adjustable collar. It is friction fit. It has an external driver that feels very, very solid and is very, very compact. The heat sink has 72 of these fins in it, and they claim that it will help with cooling, which if this is as bright as they claim it is, it's going to need all the help it can get. So on paper, this is a very bright light. We're going to see how it did, starting with a projector lux test. And here is how I do my LED headlight testing. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hot spot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. It is important that you check the description of this video for some very important notes on aiming headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LEDs. Now before I continue, did you know that I am giving away car light review swag to those who support this channel? Check out my Patreon page and find out how you can get some and support future light review and test videos. Now, on to the Bevency V45 test results. Holy crap. My projector test of the Bevency V45 measures a complete overkill measurement of 1,771 lux. That's 1,046 lux over the halogen H11's 725 lux measurements. After 27 minutes, the average commute time in the United States, it retains a surprising average of 84%, still putting out 1,485 lux, 760 lux over OEM halogen, or still twice as bright. Now, quite frankly, you can really blind the heck out of oncoming drivers, so you got to aim this thing very accurately, or you might make a lot of people angry at you. Speaking of which, let's compare the overall light pattern to stock. As you can see, this one has a very low hot spot, especially compared to stock. I had to move the cutoff way up to focus the hot spot on my Lux sensor. Again, this needs to be aimed very, very carefully or it will work against you. The top cutoff is pretty crisp and sharp, and the usual weak spot right here, not as weak as what I would expect for the output, but it's still there. Now let's see if the reflector can handle all this brightness. At a dang near bright as the sun, 3,000. 260 lux, it is 2,350 lux over the stock 910 lux measurement. Now to put that all into perspective, 
After 27 minutes, it still throws 2,734 lux down the road in a reflector, which is literally three times the stock brightness. Three times. Now let's compare all that to the stock light pattern. Considering the light output, I am surprised that it did so well in the reflector. I expect it to really overpower it, but it's a bit more controlled than I thought. I see some areas that are a bit questionable, like some fuzziness along the top cutoff, as well as here and here. But I also notice it does a little bit better than stock here. But once again, as bright as it is, and despite how good it does in the reflector, well, did I mention you gotta aim this one carefully? Sure I did, and I'll say it again. Now, as mentioned, there is a published rating of 60 watts per light, and I observed 56.6, just 3.4 less than published. That does explain the massive lux measurement. For heat management, after 27 minutes, my laser thermometer recorded a surprisingly average temperature of 138 degrees Fahrenheit for the main unit, but the driver did most of the heavy duty with a very hot 172 degrees. While the OEM halogen will reach around 300 degrees Fahrenheit, I would still be careful with where you place this driver for as hot as it gets. This is the most powerful light I've tested with my current test methods so far on this channel. And I think it is among the brightest that I have tested in my previous test on my other channel, in Jason's Garage. It slightly outpowers the Oxido Q16 that I recently tested in both projector and reflector light output, yet it has a better light retention percentage over time. It also has the highest observed wattage so far, but also the highest driver temperature measured so far. What saves it is the main unit is of average temperature, which helps keep that light retention number up. I do wish that the cord was slightly longer because that driver gets so hot, it should have better options for placement where it can get some cooler air to keep it cooler. But overall, this is a very, very bright light for the money. I feel it's actually a bit brighter than most people would reasonably need. I'll leave that opinion up to you. But what do you guys think? Would you run this in your car? Do you think it's overkill? I'd like to hear your comments. Links to where you can buy the Bevency V45 are in the description, and if I've got any coupon codes, I'll include them there as well. I also offer a free download of a spreadsheet with all the specs of all my test results for all the lights to date, so you can compare this light with the others in one easy view. That free download link is in the description below. Once again, I've got a Patreon page, so if you found this video helpful, valuable, or entertaining, please check it out and learn how you can support this channel and help me make more videos like this one. And you'll also get some car light review stuff as a result. If that's not something you like to do now, at least subscribe, hit the bell, let me know you want to see more because, as I say, I've got more videos like this one on the way, at least one released each week. And if you've got a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment, definitely check into it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more. Keep your headlights aimed and drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully. <laughs>